Well, if you see a smile on my face, it's because I think this was a big success. And it's a bit, you know, personal for me since I've seen this development from the start. I started in the 80s um, having an interest in, in uh, injection technique and insulin absorption. So it's been a long journey and we have sort of arrived. And I think the, this uh, FIDER conference will be uh, sort of the, uh, the highlight, uh, the high point um, of this evolution, which already started um, by the um, by the Titan conference uh, six years ago. So now we are continuing on that track and we are on the right track. We know so much more now about um, all aspects of injection technique and now we're expanding it into infusion technique uh, and other areas. Uh, so uh, this from this area has sort of come from a special interest, uh, interesting only a small group of people, to now to a big, huge movement all around the world. So that's what I feel here at FITTER, the support of, of uh, let's say, large parts of the world. Well, I think the question of what needles to use can be sort of settled. I mean, everybody agrees now that short needles are appropriate for everyone. They don't uh, give uh, leakage. There are no other issues related to short needles. They just need to go through the skin into the subcutaneous tissue. So I guess this, we already agreed six years ago. Now there's even more evidence that uh, that is true. So now we can uh, sort of reinforce that um, uh, uh, knowledge and it can be you know disseminated and conveyed all over the world which will be done through the, um, the report the recommendations which will be a 80 plus uh, page document uh, which have been you know extensively discussed during the, the the sessions yesterday and today so which will set a new standard for this whole area including also these new issues of infusion technique, uh, a whole new expanded section on uh, lipo hypertrophy, since we have all this new knowledge regarding lipo hypertrophy, which is great. So um, uh, a lot of new evidence, uh, a lot of old evidence uh, taken once again, and a lot of new evidence in this conference. I observed a, a will to a search for knowledge and I've heard so many times and they just people are just not trying to be nice they say I really learned so much and I'm gonna take it home and maybe I'll convince my my colleagues that we should enter the the fit program so maybe uh, in a year um, the fit program will, will be sort of a worldwide uh, movement of people committing to improving injection um, therapies. I think the, um, the single practitioner is not our aim. It's the diabetes team and every diabetes patient has the right to, um, to a diabetes team, which means a doctor, um, a trained uh, diabetes nurse specialist or diabetes educator, um, and dietitian and, and maybe other people in the team that should be a diabetes team and they should look to the recommendations um, uh, because there, there are the recommendations from, from um, the Titan meeting and there will be new recommendations from this meeting so the knowledge is out there so they just need to find it and then of course implement it. So what is also great is that FITTER had now expanded into not just injection technique, needles, um, now it's infusion, it's safety, a very big issue, and lipohypertrophy and other areas we have discussed on this, uh, during this conference.